Hi there, it's Simon from Scam Pro Audio. I'm going to show you how to use Ableton's built in MIDI effects. I'm just going to concentrate on just one or two of them just to show you what you can do using MIDI. I'm going to use one of Ableton's built in instruments. Uh, all of these, by the way, are under the Live Devices tab. In previous videos, I've been using samples, using the file browser, but these are just under the Live Devices, and they're based in three sections instruments, MIDI effects, and audio effects. So I'm just going to open one of Ableton's instruments. I'm going to use Analog, which is like a virtual analog synthesizer. Uh, there's some great sounds on here, uh, often overlooked because the they basically the graphics um, on them compared to a lot of third-party plugins don't look as impressive but that is to uh, help to reduce the CPU load up here when you're playing these instruments so I'll just click on one of those I'm gonna go for like a lead sound um, I'll just try if I click here this is burning lead just drag it over onto MIDI and it'll open it I'm gonna arm this channel uh, just there I'm gonna use the computer's keyboard as a MIDI keyboard as long as this is pressed down here this is basically to use the computer keyboard as uh, a MIDI keyboard if you look um, on the bottom left of my screen it says activate the switch to use your computer's keyboard to play notes into MIDI tracks as long as that's um, highlighted you'll be able to play so now I've got that's okay, let's try another one. If you just drag them onto here, you can just try different ones. So if I've got that there, if I try Big Poly, which is Big Polyphonic. Um, I can change the octave of what I'm playing just by using the Z and X keys. If I press Z, um, it'll say the current octave is C2 to D3. So I'm just using uh, the computer keyboard there. If I double click you can see uh, the piano roll. If you click the little headphones there, it's your MIDI editor preview. Uh, you can also play here. So you don't even need to use um, the keyboard. You can draw notes in if you like, just like that. Okay, what I'm going to do is show you how to use some of the effects. I'll just get rid of this, delete that. I just pull the window down. So in here I'm using one of the uh, analog sounds and I've already opened by double clicking you can create a MIDI clip. So I'll make a new one so you can see what I've done. Um, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick a note from here and I choose C. Double click to create a note and then what I'm going to do now is just to keep this really simple is I'm going to right mouse click and duplicate. I'm just going to duplicate all along there to fill this whole bar of 16th notes is set to 1 16th, so 16 notes to one bar. The quickest way to do this um, is duplicate, which is Control and D. So if I click on this note there, and I can use the keyboard to just go all the way across like that. If I play that now, using it up here with the little triangle, it just plays the notes like that. Okay, so you just got a row of 16th notes, not doing anything particular. Um, a quick example of one of the MIDI effects that can be quite useful is scale. If you click on MIDI effects, open it there, um, we've got scale down here. Now what it means is you can set the channel to play only notes from a particular scale. Now, depending on your uh, musical ability, or maybe you, you don't really know what the scales are, if you know what key your piece of music is in, you can basically set the scale so every time you play a key or a MIDI note is triggered it will only play notes from that particular scale. I'll just show you how it works. If I drag scale onto the channel, just double click the channel there, that's the instrument, what it looks like there. Uh, this is the uh, lead big poly. If I drag scale and just let go before it, that's basically playing a chromatic scale. It's got one orange blob for each note of the scale. So currently I can play every note chromatically, which means like every note of the piano keyboard, the white keys and the black keys. Now I can set that to C major. And if you watch what happens here, as I drop the C major onto it, it basically changes the notes you can play. So from now onwards, any MIDI note that's played in this channel will only play notes from C major. And you can change that to be D major or any of the keys. You've got 12 keys there and every one. So now it will only play notes from that particular key. If I try and play the keyboard now, whereas I try to play this note, then that one, so on, it will only play 
basically this, this is the equivalent of the white keys on a piano now. So if you do accidentally press one of the black keys on the keyboard, it won't play. It'll just play the nearest note. So instead of playing C, C sharp, it'll play C, C, and then it won't play the next one till D, and so on. So basically, you can now cannot play a wrong note. So if I go back to my pattern here, which was just a row of just Cs, if I try and move the notes up, I'm just going to randomly move them up and down. And I'll just miss out a few. So now, um, no matter where it is on here, whether it's on a black note or a note from a different key, it won't even play it. It'll just play the nearest note from a scale of C major. So if I play that now, it'll just be uh, all notes from C. So if I now press this button on the left, fold, it basically shrinks and only shows the notes I've played. And if you look here, uh, I actually played a D sharp 2, but it'll have moved it to the nearest one, so it's probably played an E there. Um, but basically that's a little pattern that only uses notes from C major. And if I play that now, listen to it. It's a, a nice major happy key. And if you look over here we've got C minor so if I drop this over here now it will change these notes so even though this will actually look the same it should sound slightly different so this helps you to play in or experiment in keys that you perhaps never would have tried and um, basically try there's other scales as a, a, a minor harmonic which is just basically another note different but it will have a different sound again so we'll try that one too I'll just drop it on it only actually played one note different there but basically you can now play in any key even if you don't know the actual scale. And again, this where it says bass C, it means the bass note of the key. So basically, if you wanted to play in F, um, you were to play in F minor, you would just literally select the minor preset, drop it there, and change the bass note to F. Now, it will play this now, but I did actually start on a C, so it will actually sound pretty similar, but any notes that crop up that would have been from the key of F will now get played. So I'll just try that one. You can only hear a slight difference there, but if I just put it back to C and play again. Okay, so that's just one example of a really easy technique to use to play along in any key. Just to add one little section onto that, you've added scale which says what uh, notes you actually play from what key. If you really want to mix it up, you can use random, and as it says, it is very random. So if I drop random, just let go there. Now these parameters there, um, if you look at the help view, it does actually explain their chance, the likelihood of a MIDI note matching uh, what actually came in. So if you just put that onto 100%, so it's just completely random. And scale, um, this one is the, the number of choices it has. I mean, play around with these, but if I now press this play now, it's just picking any note. Just to note that even though I've put that in, if I just put a row of just C's, it will still play exactly what it just played, or a random version. If I press duplicate now and play this, it should still be as random. Play the other one. There's still some subtle differences, but you really are you know at random there so that's just another idea if you are completely stuck for ideas just try something that you might actually come up with something good even by just changing the sound now I'm gonna take the random off but even that there I could change that into a bass sound go back to analog
So just by using Ableton's built-in instruments, I used analog scale. You can just try a pattern, just draw it in. Uh, you can do that on your laptop. You can do it on anything there. You don't even need a MIDI keyboard. Just drag and drop, lots of clicking. Hope that makes some sense. Um, any questions, please do drop stuff on um, our Facebook page or our blog or Twitter. Thanks for listening.